Hey guys, it's Brad with the Get You In Shape program. We've got a, um, I guess we can say, where are they now spotlight. The first thing I would say is this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. The best money I've ever spent, ever, was invested in this program. It's one of the very best decisions I've ever made. And if you care about your health and you want to make a change, this is the place to do it. Okay. So, um, name? Rhonda Shaw. I live in Red Oak. I moved in February, so that's about uh, 20 miles south of Dallas. So, take us back to your life prior to you starting this journey. What was your life like? Well, I was teaching and I worked about 80 hours a week and was not exercising at all. Was eating anything, anywhere, at any time. Uh, sleeping about four hours a night and uh, just a lot of sitting kind of work and not much activity. I had not been exercising in three years when I started the program. I uh, lost a job in the middle of a school year and it was, um, it was a tremendous blow. Um, it, it was just nuts. Everything about it was crazy and uh, it just made me stop and and look at this is an opportunity where I can just kind of reinvent myself and um, so I I hadn't been on Facebook in two years and I saw the um, the promo for um, get you in shape and I knew that that is the reason that God had me on Facebook that day when I hadn't been on there in two years because I didn't have time and I just I read it and I said I'm gonna do that Take us back to your, what is your first impression uh, after joining? What was your first impression? I loved it. I loved the people, everyone, including the trainers were so helpful, uh, encouraging but also helpful in teaching me to do the right things and just very welcoming. Every, the program was very welcoming and doable. I knew that I could do it. I had never been that uncomfortable uh, with my weight. It was the biggest I'd ever been and I weighed 230 pounds and getting up and down from the mat was just, you know, it was a workout. It, the warm-ups, I was sweating after the warm-ups, but I I just trusted. I, could, I knew what the trainers were telling me was legitimate stuff. I knew enough about health and fitness to know that what they're saying is true and, and I did it. And I just, I honestly just kept thinking of Brad's words, which were just follow the darn instructions. And I am a teacher and I have always, I've always been good at following directions. And, uh, and that has really paid off for me. The biggest aspect has to be the, the personal touch because I don't think there's anyone in the group that doesn't feel like they matter. To, not just to you, but to every trainer. Uh, people are just pleasant. They're just upbeat, and they're, but yet they push you to be better. And, and I'm motivated and inspired by the other people as well. I see what they can do, and I think, well, I bet I can do that if I just keep working. And everyone goes, oh yeah, you can. It just takes some time. And so Get You In Shape was the first thing I did that was really uh, overall encompassing just your the exercise which I really liked I loved the people so I, I loved coming face to face uh, but it, it didn't try to it, it you knew nutrition was important and no one ever tried to act like that wasn't important and that you needed it and regardless of how you look your nutrition is important and so uh, and the sleep and the community and it's just one big well-rounded picture and at, at the time for me in my life where everything seemed to be falling apart, it was very um, rebuilding and rejuvenating and uplifting for me. I, 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 uh, I, I just took to it, as my mother says, like a duck to water. Yeah. So since I started, I've lost 24 pounds. Sleeping through the night, I don't wake up anymore. And I've been sleeping seven hours a night. Um, I feel more, just more hopeful about life. and. Um, I'm, I can bend over, tie my shoes now. It's not uncomfortable, and that was one of my goals was just being able to move more freely and uh, get rid of some just uncomfortableness from just carrying so much weight. I was 
230 pounds and I mean I was a big 230 pounds I was so uncomfortable I could not uh, I could not tie my shoes comfortably uh, sitting down just uh, maybe cutting my toenails or something like that was just absolutely brutal I hated that uh, dropping something picking something up uh, I was really getting concerned about my lack of mobility and um, I had clothes in my closet that I had worn before that I really wanted to wear again that I just never gotten rid of. I had accountability with Get You In Shape, which was something I avoided before. Before I would think, oh, I need to try to start exercising again, but let's not tell anybody because, you know, then, then there'll be that pressure. Well, I'm here to tell you, yes, there will be that pressure, but it's good peer pressure and I needed it. So I just invited it in and because I didn't want to go back. I'm not going back. It's, it's, it's not happening. I have lost 90 pounds. So I'm here to tell you guys that um, if, if, if I've met Rhonda when she came into the orientation, I told her she needed to show up. She needed to follow the darn instructions. She needed to seek out help along the way. And um, can you tell me that you've done that? Oh, I've done that. She has done that, and and she's gotten the results. Did it did it cut, fall off overnight? No. No. And it's now. Uh, but you don't want it to. You don't, you want, don't it want it to. You don't want it to. And now, just to give you, just share with Rhonda. Now she is now paying it forward, and she's helping motivate, encourage, and inspire others. And so, just encourage you, just like she just shared. Um, just know it's a journey. Uh, but if, if you're on the fence, not sure if you want to get started with anything, just know it can happen. Um, she was there, and if she can do it, you can do. So thank you for sharing your story, Rhonda. You're hopefully, you're certainly inspiring and motivating me, but uh, a lot of others. Okay, so thank I hope you. So. You're welcome. So we want to celebrate Rhonda. I'm going to show a few of the the pictures over time of you and your journey.